Iconic Hollywood star Kathleen Turner isn't afraid to tell it like it is. In a new Vulture profile, the now 64-year-old actress dished on Donald Trump's gross handshake, difficulties working with the Friends cast, and her Peggy Sue Got Married co-star Nicolas Cage. In the article, Turner told a story about how some of Hollywood's biggest male stars had a competition to see who could hook up with her first, saying, You have to remember that my first big role was Body Heat, and after that, I was a sexual target. You're not so tough after all, are you? No, I'm weak. The actress continued, I understood later from Michael Douglas that there was a competition between him and Jack Nicholson and Warren Beatty about who would get me first. None of them did, by the by. I don't like being thought of as a trophy. Turner also had an awkward story to tell about Donald Trump. She said of the now president, he has this gross handshake. He goes to shake your hand and with his index finger kind of rubs the inside of your wrist. He's trying to do some kind of seductive intimacy move. You pull your hand away and go yuck. And the actress didn't sugarcoat her time working with Cage on Peggy Sue Got Married, as well as the bizarre direction he decided to go with his character. Let's make love. What? You mean sex? Turner revealed he was very difficult on set, but the director allowed what Nicholas wanted to do with his role. She added, the way I saw it was, yeah, he was that Turner also opened up about why she didn't like working with the Friends cast when she guest starred on the sitcom. Oh, look, a standing ovation already. So early in the show. <laughs> oh, turn around, darling. Let me see your pretty face. The actress said, I didn't feel very welcomed by the cast. She also called the actors a click, adding, nobody from the outside mattered. For more on this story, head to THR.com and let me know what you think of Kathleen Turner's surprising revelations in the comments. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.